OpenAI, the company behind the wildly popular ChatGPT, shocked the world. Just after launching their most advanced AI yet, GPT-40, they disbanded their AI safety team. This unexpected move sparked debates and raised eyebrows across the tech landscape. Why dismantle a team dedicated to ethical AI development right after deploying such a powerful tool? OpenAI, known for its cautious approach to AI deployment, seemed to contradict its own ethos. Was this a sign of shifting priorities or a calculated gamble? The timing fueled speculation. Was GPT-40 so advanced that it rendered the existing safety protocols obsolete? Or did OpenAI believe it had achieved a level of AI control that negated the need for a dedicated safety team? The disbandment wasn't a quiet affair. Key figures, including team leaders, resigned in protest, highlighting ethical concerns. Other members were reassigned within OpenAI, leaving many to wonder about their new roles and influence. The tech world was abuzz with questions. What prompted this sudden shift? What were the implications for the future of AI safety? OpenAI offered little explanation, fueling speculation. The lack of transparency only amplified concerns. Was this a strategic maneuver, a cost-cutting measure, or a sign of something more troubling? The silence was deafening as the world awaited answers. GPT-40 was a marvel of AI engineering. It could generate human-quality text, translate languages seamlessly, and even write different kinds of creative content. Its capabilities surpassed its predecessors, pushing the boundaries of what AI could achieve. But its arrival coincided with the dismantling of the very team tasked with ensuring its safe and ethical use. The AI safety team, once integral to OpenAI's mission, was no more. This team of ethicists, researchers, and engineers had worked tirelessly to identify and mitigate potential risks associated with AI. They developed safety protocols, conducted rigorous testing, and advocated for responsible AI development. Their absence left a void in the company and the broader AI community. The team's disbandment raised concerns about OpenAI's commitment to ethical AI. Without a dedicated team to champion AI safety, who would ensure that GPT-40 wouldn't be misused? Who would be responsible for addressing potential biases, preventing misuse, and ensuring human oversight? The stakes were high, and the lack of a clear safety net was unsettling. The resignations of key personnel added to the sense of unease. These weren't just employees leaving a company. They were experts in AI safety, ethics, and governance. Their departure signaled a potential shift in OpenAI's priorities, one that placed less emphasis on the societal impact of its creations. The tech community reacted with a mixture of surprise and concern. Many expressed disappointment over OpenAI's decision, questioning the company's commitment to responsible AI development. Critics argued that disbanding the safety team at such a crucial juncture sent the wrong message, prioritizing rapid innovation over ethical considerations. Experts in AI ethics and safety voiced their apprehensions. They warned of the potential consequences of deploying such a powerful AI without a dedicated team to monitor its use and address potential risks. Some called for greater transparency from OpenAI, urging the company to explain its decision and outline its plans for ensuring AI safety in the absence of a dedicated team. The disbandment also sparked broader discussions about the need for industry-wide standards for AI safety and ethics. If a leading organization like OpenAI could dismantle its safety team, what message did that send to other companies developing AI? The incident served as a wake-up call, highlighting the need for collective responsibility in navigating the complex landscape of AI development. The absence of clear regulatory frameworks for AI added to the complexity. Without established guidelines and oversight mechanisms, individual companies were left to define their own ethical boundaries, often prioritizing commercial interests over societal well-being. This lack of regulation underscored the need for governments and international organizations to step up and establish clear frameworks for responsible AI development and deployment. The disbanding of OpenAI's safety team serves as a stark reminder of the challenges we face in aligning powerful technologies with human values. As we venture further into the age of AI, we must prioritize safety, ethics, and human well-being above all else. This requires a multi-pronged approach involving collaboration between researchers, developers, policymakers, and the public. Transparency is paramount. Companies developing AI must be open about their safety protocols, risk mitigation strategies, and ethical considerations. This includes disclosing potential biases in their algorithms, outlining mechanisms for human oversight, and engaging in open dialogue with the public about the societal impact of their creations. Collaboration is key. The development of ethical AI cannot happen in silos. 
We need a global effort, bringing together experts from various disciplines to establish shared principles and best practices. This includes fostering dialogue between academia, industry, and governments to ensure that AI development aligns with human values and societal well-being. Ultimately, the future of AI hinges on our ability to prioritize human well-being above all else. We must ensure that AI serves humanity, not the other way around. This requires a fundamental shift in our approach to technological development, one that places ethics, safety, and human values at its core. Only then can we harness the transformative power of AI while safeguarding our collective future.